<sighs> Gotta love living in a city. All the traffic, garbage trucks, neighbors blasting music, barking dogs. Hey guys, I'm Afro Plus Plus Ultra Nappy, and welcome back to a brand new video. And yes, I know my Afro, my Afro, <laughs> my Afro is nappy, but that's because I woke up and I ain't finna pick it out because once I'm done with this video, your boy going back to sleep. But anyhow, once again, this is another anime unboxing, but this series is a series that I have been waiting to get my hands on for the longest time. I watched it on Funimation back in fall of 2018. It's like only 12 episodes. But the series was good, and I'm sure some of you guys may have heard of it, some of you may have not. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. To be honest with you guys, I got this series like, it came in the mail like almost a month ago. I just have been busy and also lazy to where I haven't like actually sat down and unboxed it. Uh, ha, ha. All right, guys, here it is, Sh Gamers. Now, this series, oh, let me throw this trash way over there. All right. Now, this series, Gamers, is one of my favorite, I uh, probably wouldn't say one of my favorite anime series. It's up there, like in the top, I'd say maybe top 30, it's up there for anime, right. but it's really good. I like it, a I liked it when I watched it on Funimation. It was one of those shows to where it's like, you get so to me it was one of those to where i got so hooked i didn't want to stop so it, it took me like less than a week to watch the whole series thought it was really good the only thing i will say you know what, i'll save that for when i go into detail about the show so if without reading the back of it the premise that i'm going to give you on the show is about this kid named amino who loves video games like he's a video game fanatic but he's not that good at video games so until he catches the eye of the most popular girl in school named Tendo. And I know what you're thinking, really? Tendo? Yes, Tendo. Half a Nintendo, yes. I said the same thing when I first watched the series. He catches the eye of Tendo, who secretly happens to be a gamer herself. And so when she tries to recruit him, recruit Amino to the video game club, he kind of is like, eh, nah, I'm okay. I rather like, I like playing video games on my own. And then when he decides to give it a shot, he kind of notices that everybody in the club is more on like the competitive side because you know, they've won trophies for game competitions and stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, sorry, babe. That ain't about me. Not sorry, babe, but he's just like, yeah, sorry, Tendo. I ain't about that life. I like playing games on my own and I don't play competitively like that. And so she starts getting obsessed and is like, what the, like what? You're, you're, you're like rejecting my offer to join the club. You're like, that's like in a way to her that was also like rejecting her in some odd way. And so she becomes like obsessed with Amino in a way. And it's really weird. And then you get introduced to all these other characters. I don't know, I forget two of their names, but these two are a couple as well. One of these dudes is like a popular kind of jock guy who used to be a nerd. And then he's dating this girl who I think is like a year or two younger than him. I think she's, I think she's younger than him. I think, I'm, don't quote me on it. It's been about a year and a half since I've seen the series. It's been a year and a half. Um, and then there's this other girl who they call her like seaweed head girl because I forget her name. I used to be able to pronounce her name, but I just remember they're call, them calling her seaweed hair girl because her hair was like so long and wavy. It looked like, literally looked like seaweed really good series i like it it's 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 funny it's it's definitely funny but there's also like weird kind of like weird love triangles that kind of happen and then there's like annoying miscommunication and all this other stuff it's just really weird and can get confusing at times but like that's to me that's what kind of makes it like interesting although it, the show ends on a cliffhanger i'm not going to say what happens but it's I think what it was, because I'm pretty sure there's more volumes uh, within the manga, and I think the manga continues, but it's one of those series that, like, the last episode is, like, you couldn't even tell 
it's like the last episode. It's just kind of like as if they just left it. It's like uh, they just ended it, like out of nowhere, which is essentially kind of what they did. All right, so I got the screwdriver. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. Also, if you hear like a weird little like spaz thing sound in the background, that's my dog out there rolling around. All right. Set that plastic there for now. Oh, digital copy. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel and then for those of you that already know the drill, there is a digital code. I just now paid attention to it at the bottom of the screen here. Not screen, screen. At the bottom of the little plastic wrap. So at the end of the video, I will be giving away the code for gamers so that way you guys can redeem it and watch it. And this, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, okay. So ever since I've been taking certain medications, certain senses of smell have really triggered me. And this smells like, have you, have you ever been in the hospital and they give you like, you get an IV and you get saline to clean, to flush out the IV. This literally smells like that saline chemical. And, it, and I think it's because it was wrapped in plastic. Ugh. There definitely is artwork on the inside of the case. I'll show you the disc first, and then I'm gonna take the disc out and I'm gonna show you the inside because it actually looks kind of cool. I, I hope it's appropriate. Um, but the show as is isn't all that inappropriate. It kind of is a little bit, but it's really not all that bad. Okay, so here you go with the disc and everything. You got Amino on disc one. Oh, not Amino, you got Tendo on disc one. And then I forgot this girl's name here but she's on disc two and it's really cool. So here's what the inside looks like. Little artwork, you got a uh, seaweed head girl here and then you got her younger sister and then you got Tendo on this side and the other chick with the pink hair. It's kind of interesting, you know, and I didn't know that they came with little artwork like that, which is actually pretty cool. And you see like another thing here, just to point out, you see like little designs in the background, like controllers, and TV screens and stuff like that and like little digital like tablets like a, like almost something kind of like a switch or like a hand gaming handheld I should say so I'm gonna read you guys the back and I'm gonna basically just fill you in it's gonna it's basically what this is is just basically what I said earlier so I kind of almost nailed it down they really push each other's buttons Kita Amino is a fan of one thing gaming but when he's invited to join the school's gaming club, he declines, shocking the beautiful club president, Karen Tendo. Determined to figure him out, Amino becomes her main quest. Special features include Texas opening song and Texas ending song, and includes episodes 1 through 12. Yes, this Funimation, uh, Crunchyroll, Universal Pictures, because each time there's a new episode, you know how the Universal Pictures you get like that earth thing with the universal logo, that whole opening, That how that's how it is with every single episode on here. So Universal Pictures, I guess, had something to do with, if not the uh, licensing kind of situation with uh, in Japan, and I guess they must have done it too in America. I'm assuming they did it in Japan too. You already know the drill. Thank you for watching the video. At the end, I will have a little code for you guys to redeem Gamers the Complete Series and I'm not sponsored to say this or, anything, or by any means necessary, but when I get big, Funimation, if you want to sponsor me, when this channel really blows up, holler at me because I love anime, for real. I mean, look at look at all that manga. I have like three rows filled to the brim of manga. I got all these pop figures from My Hero. I have like three, four shelves, four little rows of shelves filled with anime on Blu-ray, DVD. Holler at your boy. Holler at me. Please, I'm broke. But if you sign up for Funimation, you can get, um, what is it, Premium Plus for free for one month, which is pretty cool. And um, with Premium Plus membership, the features include Download to Go. So watch anime offline with your Download to Go feature on Android or iOS devices. Members only will let you know when exclusive members only events take place in your area. Shop sales, get early access to select Funimation shop sales and other special offers. That's pretty dope. Uh, simultaneous streams, which means share love of anime with friends or family members. Cause that's what I have. I have premium, I pay for premium plus, which is a total of $7.99 a month. But 
You can also get um, premium, yeah, premium, which is four ninety nine a month. And, but then you can also just get Funimation for free. Like you can watch and anim select anime shows for free. The only reason why I do, I pay for the premium plus, even though there's more, there's higher options. But I do premium plus because my girlfriend also watches anime too. All right, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button to help the channel out, help the videos, the views, and all that. Don't forget to hit that notification button. You can either personalize it for certain select videos, or you can do all that way you know whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to check me out on my gaming channel at Pokemon Tandy 6. I should be have uh, I should have a new video up pretty soon. Don't forget to check me out on SoundCloud. Links in the description below. Don't forget to also follow me on Twitter at AfterVeek3. 